the U.S. began to be widely recognized as a world power in 1898 as a result of its decisive victory in the Spanish-American War. Montpelier native Commodore George Dewey was considered a national hero for helping to bring that about, sinking Spain's entire Pacific fleet at the Battle of Manila Bay while losing only one American sailor in the process to a heart attack. Within a year of the battle, Dewey was promoted twice. We briefly referred last week to his second promotion, in which he rose to the brand new rank of Admiral of the Navy. Congress gave him a special rank at I guess that nobody else it. had yeah. Yeah. or has ever had. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, he, is, he is a very unique individual, and he's, the, the, the level of fame is just extraordinary. Uh, um, as I said, there was, there's lots of items that he, his face was plastered on. He went on a, uh, a nationwide tour, mm -hmm. and by the time he, that tour wrapped up and he returned home to Montpelier, uh, there was 40,000 people out uh, in front of the state house <laughs> to honor him. Now, we, and of course, we have a lot of that material at the Vermont Historical Society, and, and, and Mike will go and we'll take a look at some of that um, a little bit later. That celebration here in Montpelier, I, I've read about it. It's like something else. I mean, <laughs> huge bonfires, like on yeah. the ridges of the Green Mountains mm. that were lit as he, as he entered, and then a huge bonfire pyre, I don't yeah. know what you want to call it, above this, on the hill above the state house, which was mm. wooded now, it wasn't, it wasn't wooded right. then. And then the state house itself was lit up with electric mm -hmm. lights, which is like this yeah. brand new thing. I mean, it's, it's just spectacular. All the buildings up and down this street just covered with bunting and people and, and parades. And, and I mean, so much so that I mean, there were some political aspirations as well. Yeah, I think so, but he, he didn't, um, he, he ended up dying just before, on the eve of World War I, uh, so 1917, um, and so that yeah, obviously did not happen. He wanted the Democratic uh, nomination for president in, in 1900, but I think that not, not the Senate primaries, but the delegates uh, yep. didn't favor him. He lost because he made some like really not great <laughs> yeah. uh, remarks. So, but anyway, uh, Dewey was so popular when he came back to Montpelier, and we had this whole celebration, but that continued. There was a holiday, right? Yeah, it was a Dewey, Dewey Day. Was uh, and they, they we've got pictures of the state house decked out in buntings, the mm -hmm. Vermont History Historical Society Pavilion Building decked out in buntings, and uh, it was actually even most recently celebrated in 2018 when mm. Governor Phil Scott signed a proclamation naming uh, uh, the day Dewey Day. So here we are, landlocked state, yeah. Vermont, <laughs> and uh, have you know arguably one of the most famous admirals in, in U.S. history, uh, born here. And uh, you know how how quickly we forget these things, but yeah. it's it's wonderful to talk about it. And he's the reason the Vermont State House lawn has two naval guns on it at this place in history.